Right, so get your bearings. We're at Naga World. That's Naga World number two down there. And that's the peak. Environmental protection. And here's another stool holder here. And you can see they make all the... Everything's fresh. You can see how fresh it is. You know, you're talking a dollar, two dollars, dollar fifty for a huge meal. And you can see how fresh the meat is before they cook it. And the blue eggs are duck eggs. And then you've got some kebabs getting done here. And then you've got squid or calamari. And then you got the different, the normal duck egg, um, fowl, chicken eggs there, and the blue ones are duck eggs. And then you got the different types of kebabs you'll get, and she'll cook them up for you. So you can see how fresh it is even before she starts cooking it. So come and support these guys along here. You know you can't get fresh than this for a dollar, two dollars a meal. Now, my previous video, that was Naga World number two over there, and Naga World number one down the end. And that's the hotels, and then you've got the bridge apartment complex over there, and then you've got the peak, and then you've got these other apartments, and this bridge here goes over to Diamond Island, which is another huge complex, another a ghost city of Phnom Penh, Cambodia. And actually a city within a city but it's almost no one living there it's huge I'll do a, I have to do a separate video on that one of Diamond Island I'll do it in the next couple of days so to get your bearings that's the environmental protection that's the peak down there and you've got world Naga world number one and Naga world number two and this is Senop Senop Boulevard and now this is the way you walk into the city centre straight down here so I'll do it I'll take you into the city centre by walk instead of a tuk-tuk and if you're in the city centre Phnom Penh Cambodia do the opposite way and you'll come out to Naga World Casino number two and all what I've shown you in the videos so we'll do this walk I'll go in on the walkway first and it's just down that right down the end of the street here down here now there's a lady here and she's a recycler so she goes around collecting aluminium cans, cardboard, wood, wire, anything that's recyclable, glass, aluminium cans, anything and you know you'll get them weighed for what the cans you got and she'll give you some money but don't ever take any money off them just to give it to them to get recycled at least they're helping you know protect the world from environmental damage by getting rid of your aluminium cans or your glass or your bottles or your cardboard or your polished styrene whatever you got they'll take it from you and they're all over Phnom Penh, Cambodia and Cambodia so if you see them just give them what you got rather than throw it in the rubbish tin because you know it's going to be recycled so we're going to start the walkway, which is down the end of the street down here. And this will take you right through into the middle of Phnom Penh city, city, city centre. And to get your bearings again. Naga World number two over there. The peak over there, environmental protection. And behind that blue fence used to be like a, a Disney World, Disneyland of Asia. And they pulled it all down. And it's all open up for new apartments to be built, hotels. So uh, that's all through there. So everything, all the old non pink about is getting demolished and new buildings putting up. So all these cars are coming off the ferry, come across from the Mekong River. So they actually live across the river on the other side of the Mekong River. So there's a, a ferry that takes them from the other side of the Mekong River to this side of Phnom Penh so they're all coming off the ferry now and I'll show, I'll show you the ferry in a minute you can see this lady she collects everything you know she'll take anything that's recyclable 
Uh, all this will be all recycled. So if you're walking around and you've got an aluminium can or a glass bottle or anything, see us throwing rubbish in? Just get it for these guys and they'll recycle it. That's a peak down there. And we're almost... This is one of the barges that just come in and all these vehicles and motorbikes are coming off the barge on the other side of the Mekon River. So, we'll go down a bit further and film a bit further down. So to get your bearings again, Naga World number one, number two, and down the end of the road, the peak, environmental protection, and we've come down the end of the street. And this is the walkway into, into the Phnom Penh city, so if you want to walk instead of taking your tuk-tuk, you can. And this is the ferry docking here. So all the ferries come in almost around the clock, 24 hours, taking vehicles across to the other side of the Mekon River to all the other towns and villages across the river. So these are either finishing work or going home. So all these here will be going home. Finish work going home across the river into the villages across the river. And you can actually take these ferries across yourself. You know, just by walking and get to the other side of the Mekon River and just see what the real Phnom Penh Kabodo village life is like. You know, the real poverty villages across the river. And this is where they, a lot of them live in the poverty villages. So you can take these, the ferry here from this dock here and go across the Mekon River to the other side and just see the poverty side of Cambodia, Phnom Penh. So... You know, you're only talking about 40, 50 cents to go, or you can go in a tuk-tuk, and the tuk-tuk will take you across and do a tour of the poverty villages and little villages and communities across the Mekon River. So from here on, this is Phnom Penh City, and this is the start of the walkway into Phnom Penh. So uh, that's Phnom Penh in the distance over there. So it's about a three kilometre walk into Phnom Penh City. So this is the walking track, or you can take the tuk tuk. So we'll do the walking track this morning, tonight. These are the ferries loading up to taking all the workers back to the villages across the Mekon River. And as I said before, you can take, you can hop on this like walking, or get a tuk tuk to take you across the Mekon River to the other side and he'll do a tour of the villages and the poverty villages on the other side of the Mekon River. So this is the docking here. And there's another ferry coming in with vehicles. And there's another one over here unloading. So it's a big business. As soon as the ramp's down, I'll start coming off. Yeah, no. They're either coming to sell stuff in Phnom Penh tonight at the markets, or been working on the other side and coming back the Phnom Penh and that's the barge there ready to go fully loaded up and that when it's fully loaded up we'll go across the other side of the Mekon River so if you're coming to Phnom Penh Cambodia it's well worth you know I mean it's well worth the trip and a tuk tuk or just go buy yourself hire a motorbike or a push bike bicycle and do like the locals do and go to the Mekon There, she's away now. So to get your bearings again, the environmental protection, the peak, Naga World number two, and this is the street, and this is the beginning, Naga World number two over there. Naga World number one over there, the peak, 
the side street will walk along with all the street fruit vendors along with the, the dock that takes you across the Mekon River. And now this is the start of the walkway. And this walkway will take you right through in the middle of the Phnom Penh city. So we'll do this walkway. So in the morning and the evening it's got a running track for those that run, want to train out. And then on the other side they've got the walking track. Or if you've got a bicycle or a motorbike you can ride along here. But this is the walk, start of the walking track. And looking at the ferry docking over there, there's the ferry going across, the, that's the Mekon River there. So, if you come to Phnom Penh, Cambodia, you know, if you want to see the real Cambodia, the real Phnom Penh, cross the Mekon River, cross the other side over there, and you'll see Cambodia and Phnom Penh, you know, before the building boom. They really do it hard over there, and it's really like, the poverty villages and the communities over there. It's really, really tough over there. So, it's well worth the trip, the ferry trip, to go and see it. You can either go out, you know, at night time or the daytime. You can do it twice, you know, like one, one trip at night time, one trip at the daytime. Now, this is one of the, the night cruise boats that do the got the restaurants on them so for $25 per head you get all that's on the menu here and all the beers and Cambodian beers and all your meals and a two hour trip on the Mekon River for $25 per head and it's a full restaurant boat I'll show you the boat in a minute but here's some of the meals and here's the times it goes it goes you know, around about 6 o'clock at night, 6 p.m. But there's a lot of them here. This is not the only one. But this is what they look like. So you can see this is a, the restaurant boat there. So you can sit on top. It's got the sun shade or the rain shade on the top. And the restaurant's up top. Or you can sit down below. So as I said in my other videos, the Laos, in Laos and further up the Mekong River, they're building these huge dams and holding back the floodwaters of the Mekong River. So the, the, the river is really, 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 really low. You know, only like five, six years ago, the water would have been right, right up the level here at this time of year. And now it's dropped right, 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 right down there. It's getting worse every year. That blue boat over there, that's a sand barge. And it's empty at the moment. And they barge getting all the sand out of the, the Mekon River. But here's another one of that. The ferries getting loaded up here. And as you know, you can see how many ferries crossing the Mekon River. Though. They're everywhere. Another one loading up over here. So if you're coming to Phnom Penh, Cambodia, hop on these ferries and go and cross and see the real Phnom Penh, Cambodia. Cross the other side over there. So once again, we're on the walking track here. And this track takes you all the way into the Phnom Penh city. This is called the walkway, Riverside Walkway. And we'll go right through. It starts off at the night markets in Phnom Penh, Cambodia on Riverside and Street 108. Street 108 and Riverside the night markets and that's where the walkway starts and it's about three to four kilometers long and it ends here where the docks are so it takes you right through the from the docks from loading docks here it starts off the running the running or the walking track starts off here and goes right through three to four kilometers into the Phnom Penh city to and finishes off at street 108 and Riverside and Phnom Penh city outside the night markets so you either start there or finish here I start at 101, Street 108, Riverside, Phnom Penh, Night Market, start there. Or start here and finish at the Night Markets, or start at the Night Markets and finish here. So I'll take you through the end of the street. You can see the walkway goes right through into the middle of the Phnom Penh City, right to Street 108 and the Night Markets. And you, as I said before, you can either start there or finish here. 
and when you finish this is where the loading docks are here and the, the walking track finishes down there and that'll take you through to the the peak we filmed before and Nagaville number one and Nagaville number two so that's your directions if you're or well, your location should be coming in to Phnom Penh, Cambodia and we we'll just swing around again and we'll just follow this running track or walking track all the way into Phnom Penh city right through to street 108 at the night markets in Phnom Penh and you can also catch the the, the night cruises for a meal or a um, a river cruise at night time five dollars without a meal and twenty five dollars with a meal and all your drinks and that so they also start off at street 108 opposite the night markets so there's two locations for the river ferry cruises in Phnom Penh, Cambodia so we're still heading along the walking track right into the middle of Phnom Penh now this here this used to be the booth this used to be the booth for the the transport, you know, like the bus service, they had one for the boats that did all of Phnom Penh and the outskirts of Phnom Penh and along all the river systems through Phnom Penh and Cambodia. And they, the, the, the docking, you, you used to catch the ferry here up until two years ago. And I'll show you what happened. See these guys are like running and training along the track here, riding their bikes, walking. So what happened was, two years ago, they had a complete ferry service and up until two years ago at this time of year January February the water was almost up to this you know foot railing there but because of climate change and the big dam being built on the Laos River on the Mekong River sorry in Laos holding back the flood borders of the Mekong River the river no longer floods the Mekong River no longer floods and that landing dock down there two years ago used to be right up here level and you'd hop on the you'd wait for the ferry here the boats and just walk through the stepway up where the cats walk in there or you just step off where that cat is now onto the onto the onto the ferry on the loading dock down there but that's how much the river's dropped in two years it's um getting worse every year so there's no more floodwaters coming down from Laos and the Mekong River anymore. And what's happening is the Mekong River flows through Phnom Penh, Cambodia, and then into Vietnam and into the Mekong Delta. And the Mekong Delta feeds, you know, Vietnam's got 100 plus million, 100 million plus people. And 90% of the food is grown in the Mekong Delta. And it relies all their food, their rice, all their vegetables are grown in the Mekong Delta in Vietnam. And because the, the Mekong River doesn't flood anymore and it's almost stagnant, the salt water from the sea is coming up the Mekong River further and further and further up into the Vietnam Delta system, killing all the, the farming, the rice fields and the, the vegetable crops in the farm. The salt water is just killing everything. And the salt water is coming up further and further and further. And eventually in the next you know, few years it's going to reach Phnom Penh the salt water and it's going to be too salty and it's just it's an environmental disaster absolutely disaster for all of Asia uh, the huge dams you know I mean you can't blame Laos because they haven't got much income they need, they're selling the electricity from the dams to Vietnam Cambodia Thailand and for the domestic use so you can't really blame them it's just environmental damage right from you know start one you know I mean you know you want a country like Laos who wants to progress in the 21st century and you can't prevent them from like building a dam to get electricity to open up new factories throughout Laos get the economy going so it's just you know I don't know who's at fault but anyway, if you're coming to Phnom Penh, Cambodia, just come along this walkway here. 
but the ferry service, you know, the domestic like transit, the blue ferries no longer run along the river because it's just got too low and they tried, tried to put more concrete down there and they put more and more concrete and it just got so low that it just like, you know, yeah, it's just they don't operate anymore. And every year I've been looking at this Mekon River for 17 years and every year it's getting lower and lower and lower. It's terrible. Anyway, we'll continue along the walkway into Phnom Penh City. You know, I used to, you know, stand here and get me tickets from 6 in the morning till about 10 o'clock at night. Get your tickets, you know, for 50 cents, 60 cents. And there are all the river systems in Phnom Penh. You know, all the little waterways and the Mekong River and all the little tributaries. And they had dock, these docks and booths where you'd buy your tickets. And they had all these built right through Phnom Penh and all the river systems through Phnom Penh. And the outer suburbs take all the little creeks and the river systems through Phnom Penh. But now the river's got so, the Mekong River's got so low that they just, you know, they can't operate anymore. So, it's just climate change and everything, you know. Everyone's to blame. Everyone in the world is to blame, you know. Laos wants more electricity to build more electric cars and computers and mobile devices and mobile phones and computers and all the factories like Samsung and Apple and all that will go into Laos and, you know, so, you know, they're building the dam for electricity to build these factories in Laos, cheaper labour. So, you know, we're all to blame. You know, you can't blame any one person. If you've got a mobile device or you use Wi-Fi, you've got a TV or a vehicle or you smoke or you drink or, <laughs> I don't know, whatever, you know. But, you know, this is, this is what they call progress. And if you didn't have progress, we'd all still be living in caves and hunting, you know, living on dinosaur steaks. So... It's, I think this is the beginning of the end, I think. Looking at the Mekon River now. You know, it's um, terrible. Anyway, we'll continue on to Phnom Penh, into the city, walking along this track. So we're still on the walking track going to Phnom Penh. You know, this is the best time. It's uh, about 5.30 at night, 5, 5.30pm. And the sun is just setting over the Mekong River here. And this is the best time in Phnom Penh at this time of night, 5.30 p.m., 6 p.m., when you go to Riverside and eat at the restaurants along the river or eat street food. So we'll continue on to Phnom Penh and the city along this track here. We're still on the walking track going to Phnom Penh and to the city and just probably half a kilometre up here is the Royal Palace so if you get to the Royal Palace you get on the walkway and walk through this thing here to Nagawil Casino number 2 and everything else is showing you but look at this, it's an environmental disaster absolutely terrible you know this is the weeds are taking over you know only a few years ago the water, as I see the water this time of year in February was right up level here after the rainy season and now this February the river's right down because the Mekong River no longer floods and it's almost almost stagnant it's just a few years ago that was dark blue and really fast flowing really really fast flowing the water was right up top here and now with the dams and layoffs it's an absolute disaster and getting worse every year and it's not only affecting Asia, it's going to affect the whole world. And we're all to blame. You can't blame anyone. If you own a mobile phone or a computer, then Apple and Samsung and all that are moving into layouts for cheap labour and cheap electricity, so we're all to blame. And that boat down there, they're all illegals. On the, they live on those boats, so I'll get a closer look. They're all Muslims that have fled Myanmar and they're on the Mekong River and they come down from Myanmar and they're actually illegal 
in Cambodia, so they actually live their entire life on the boats. So they catch fish at night time from the Mekong River, which is getting less and less every year because the river is getting too low. And they, they have the whole family on those boats down there. And uh, there's hundreds of this, or hundreds and hundreds of them just around the corner on the Mekong River over there. And every now and again, the, the river police will come and you know, send them back across the border. But eventually they just come back slowly at night time into, into Cambodia and hang around the city to try and sell their fish they catch at night just to get a bit of, of fuel to buy fuel and vegetables because they live on rice and fish they catch so they just need a bit of money for fuel or uh, their vegetables but they spend their whole life on here and they're just like just illegal immigrants or refugees from Myanmar so there's thousands of these boats on the Mekong River right through from Laos, Thailand, Cambodia, Vietnam, they're everywhere and they spend their whole life on those boats and sometimes the police round them up and send them back but they finally find their way back again. Anyway, yeah, this is an environmental disaster and it's getting worse every year and it's going to affect the whole world. You know, it's affecting China now with, with, you know, with our logistics and your commodities that are made in China. It's, you know, the whole world's getting affected by, you know, the damage to the Mekong River and everything else that's happening around the world. Climate change or, I don't know what you call it, but we're all to blame. You can't blame anyone else if you, you know, we're all to blame. Every one of us. So I'll continue on to Phnom Penh City. Right, we're still going to the Phnom Penh City. And on this track, as I said, we'll finish outside the night markets on Street 108. But if you want to start in Phnom Penh, it's Street 108 opposite the night markets. You can start here and end up here. But once again, I look at this, you know, the Mekong and the Tulsat River here. And it's just an absolute disaster. When the water used to be right up to where that bike is now, look at it. The weeds have taken over and choking the river. And it won't be a few years' time, the whole river will be just choked with weed. And the Mekong River is getting lower and lower and lower. And you can see the, the weeds are just taking over. And it's just a, a complete disaster for the whole world. Some guys down here fishing. Another legal Muslim immigrants from Myanmar on their boat over there. But you know the weeds are taking over. Even the boats that are tied up. You know these boats were tied up. The water was right up to the where the bicycle is here now, and now they're just getting surrounded by weed. And these used to be like river boats on the river taking passengers out and now they're just surrounded by weed. And eventually it'll just cross the whole river and take over the Mekong River. And the Mekong River will stop flowing too. It'll just become a stagnant pond. And the people of Cambodia and the people of Vietnam, you know, we're talking 100 million plus people live in Vietnam. And they, you know, 90% of the population rely on the Mekong River for all their food and vegetables and everything they eat. So it's a, an absolute disaster for all of Asia and the world, really. But we'll continue on. You can hire those bikes, you know, for a dollar. You can hire them right throughout Phnom Penh, around Riverside, and you can ride your bicycle, hire a bicycle or a motorbike, a little 50cc one. So if you're into that or get a tuk-tuk or hear some more people riding their bikes around the riverside. So you do this walkway at night time, it's the best time, about 5pm at night. So you'll see the, the night, the daylight, and you'll see the sunset on the Mekong River. 
and so you'll see both worlds at once so you'll see the river and then you'll see the sunset on the Meccan River we've almost reached the Royal Palace in Phnom Penh in the middle of Phnom Penh city so you can start at the Phnom Penh Royal Palace the walkway and go into Phnom Penh city or start at the night markets in street 108 or start at the other end so this will take you, this is the best time of the night you know 5.30 p.m. And you can see the day on the night on the Mekon River. But just to show you, this is the Phnom Penh Police Department on the river cruise. This is the police boats that patrol the river 24 hours a day. And they do the, the Mekon River up and down looking for drugs coming in from the Golden Triangle up at Laos, Thailand, Cambodia border. China border and they patrol the river at night time the Mekon River so they're looking for legal immigrants and drugs and contraband so but this is the police headquarters here and I only like three years ago two two and a half three years ago it was right up you know level here and now they've had to build this big gangplank walkway going down and it's getting lower and lower and lower and they've had to build like a deck up above the water to look out onto the river when they used to be right up level here and look out the Mekon River now the, the police boats and patrol boats are way down on the Mekon River now uh, everyone's doing it hard and you see the green weeds finally coming up towards the police boats and the compound so it's affecting everyone in the world, not just in Cambodia, everyone. Well, we'll continue on to the Royal Palace and we'll see what's going on there. There's a river cruise boat taking tourists out on a river cruise, the Mekon River. And there's another one going out there. So you've got the restaurant on the top. But that's just the $5 ride one, that one, that's a $5 one. And that one over there is a restaurant boat with a restaurant on it. So you've got the $25 restaurant boats and then you've got the $5 ferries, which is behind this tree here. That's a $5 cruise boat on the Mekon River. Takes about an hour and a half, two hours to do a complete trip. But now where the Mekon River used to be up here now there's trees growing over and rubbish and that tree would have been under completely underwater you know that wouldn't even been growing there like three years ago so the river's getting lower and lower and lower and pollution and plastics and so Anyway, this, this, the, the river sister, uh, this track will go along to the Royal Palace and next, the next bit will be the Royal Palace so you can start from the Royal Palace or Street 108 opposite the night markets and do this complete trip. Here's some of the, the restaurant boats that do a tour of the Phnom Penh and we're right opposite the Royal Palace in Phnom Penh, Cambodia, right in the middle of Phnom Penh city. So on, behind me is the Royal Palace so if you're going to do this or take a trip on the on the Mekon River on these restaurant boats, they depart right opposite the the, um, the Royal Palace in Phnom Penh, right in the middle of the central city, right in the middle of the city, and these restaurant boats go out for twenty-five dollars or five dollars without a restaurant meal. Um, so they do a one and a half hour, two hour trip up and down the Mekon, and then back up the river and you'll see everything. So if you take this time, like 5.30 at night, you'll see the, the sunset on the Mekong River, and you'll see the Mekong River in the daylight hours, and then you'll come back at night. So you'll see both daylight and night time. So highly, if you're coming to Phnom Penh, Cambodia, this is a must see. And right across the road is the Royal Palace, and there's a lot of little market stalls here, fresh vegetables, and you can come and eat street food here. So I'll finish off at the Royal Palace, which is just a, a, little, a little further down. So this is the walkway I've done right through. 
And as I said before, it starts off at Street 108 on Riverside, opposite the night markets, and goes right through to Nanagalore Casino two, number two. Or you can start at, you know, at the end where I start off with docking and come all the way through to Phnom Penh. Then either come, come in or leave or do both in both directions, walking. And it's the best time early in the morning or, you know, in the evening about 5.30 before, you know, it's a bit hot in the daytime. But 5.30 at night time, you'll see both night and dark or come in the morning, five in the morning and see the sunset over the Mekong, um, the sunrise over the Mekong River. And you'll see the, the morning and the, you know, the morning hours. So you can do both. So I'll, I'll finish off at the Royal Palace. So here's a restaurant boat waiting to take people out on the river at night. Uh, for $25 for a two hour trip and a plus a meal and all your alcohol. And there's another one over there, it's a five dollar boat over there, but no restaurant, just a one and a half hour cruise up and down the Mekon River in the you know, evening hours. So you'll see the river in the daylight hours and come back at night in the darker hours about eight o'clock at night. That's a five dollar boat. And that's your restaurant boat at $25. And there's two more restaurant boats over there. And right behind me is the Royal Palace. So we're right in the middle of Phnom Penh now. So the Royal Palace is right in the middle of Phnom Penh. So right opposite the Royal Palace at 5 p.m. at night to 6 p.m., 7 p.m., 8 p.m., 9 p.m. at night, you'll find all these restaurant boats to do a tour and highly recommended, highly recommended. Now the walkway that I've just done you know, I've seen plenty of you know, tourists that have been here like, you know, one, two, three days and to try and do a video of the walkway and they know nothing. You know, I've been here 17 years. 17 years I've been here. And I see all these other videos of people, you know, tourists that have been here, you know, one day, two days, you know, less than a week and think they know everything. And then they depart and go to another country. But here you can buy all these street food, you know, really, really cheap and eat it. Sitting on the wall here, you sit on the wall, buy your street food. Right along here, the street food vendor just like this here. I'm not, not filming here, that's okay. So, you buy all your street food through here, and the Royal Palace is right across the road there, the Royal Palace. So, if you come to Phnom Penh, Cambodia, right in the middle of the city is the Royal Palace and this walkway and the restaurant boats and everything else. And, you know, I'm telling you the true facts of Cambodia and Phnom Penh. I've been here 17 years. I'm not some terrorist been here like two or three days and think they know everything. I'm just telling you the, the true facts of Phnom Penh and Cambodia, you know. Watching those other videos of these tourists have been here a few days, it really annoys me. But here's your popcorn here. You can buy you know, anything, all your drinks, your beer. They come down opposite the Royal Palace. Right, we're right in the middle of Phnom Penh now. So when you see this yellow tower that's lit up at night time, and across the road's the Royal Palace here. We're right in the middle of Phnom Penh city now, right in the middle of the city. So the Royal Palace is here. And look for this big green tower here. This is the walkway that I've done. It'll continue on into through Phnom Penh city to the other end of the city. But we've just done this walkway. There's the restaurant boats down there leaving. And the walkway continues all the way that I've just done right through to the other side there. Now, I'll leave all my details below this video. If you want to contact me, anything about Cambodia and Phnom Penh, retirement, buying apartments, renting, whatever your visas, retirement visas, anything you want to know, I'll leave my details down below and just contact me. And as I said before, I'm not some terrorist that's been here a few days and think they know everything. I've been here 17 years and what I'm showing you is the facts, you know. I'm not some, you know, terrorist guy or girl that's been here a few days and think they know everything. So, if you want to know any more about con about this here, just subscribe to my channel because I'll be making more videos as I go along. I'll go further out, out from Phnom Penh to the, the beaches and sand wrap and that. So there'll be more videos coming each week. So just subscribe to my channel, like, 
and share if anyone's coming to Cambodia or Phnom Penh in the future so they know a bit before you come to Phnom Penh, Cambodia. But if from Australia or New Zealand, you know, it's just a short trip to Cambodia. And if you want to know anything about visas, retirement, or buying an apartment, or owning an apartment, renting, anything you want to know, just leave me a message and I'll get back to you within 24 hours. So, thanks to all my subscribers. This is a walkway that some of you have asked for to see. And as I said once again, that's a real palace over there. And we're right in the middle of Phnom Penh, and that's the tower there. Right in the middle of Phnom Penh City. And the restaurant boats taking off right opposite the Phnom Penh Royal Palace. So I'll end my video here. And hope you subscribe, like, and share this video. And there'll be more coming in the next few days. Okay? Thank you. Bye.